Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Kavisha, personal stylist, and as you can see by the title, hashtag ask a stylist. I did a little thing on my Instagram stories and I said you ask and I'll answer. So if you have any style questions, you can leave them on my Instagram, it's Kavisha Stylist, or you can just put them in the comment section down below and I think it'll be a fun series to do where if you have any style questions, I can answer them. And yeah, we can all learn from one another and listen to the other questions if you also maybe wanted to know the answers to that. So, before I get to it, if you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. And if you like what I'm sharing, subscribe to my channel. I upload new style videos every Wednesday. Question number one, winter basics. So when it comes to your capsule wardrobe, I've done a capsule wardrobe for autumn and a what is a capsule wardrobe. So I'll link it on top or I'll put it in the description box. Basically with a capsule wardrobe, it's 10 to 15 pieces and you want to be able to create outfits from these pieces. A capsule wardrobe is also the foundation of a great outfit. So I'm gonna share with you my five or more favorite winter basics. So starting with trousers, a good pair of denim jeans. You can either opt for like a skinny or a mom jean. You could do culottes, something different for winter if you wanna freshen up your wardrobe. But a good, good quality pair of jeans, something that you can also wear boots with and that will keep you warm. Another pair of trousers I would do would be a black cigarette trouser, something that I can style up or keep it casual but also if I want to wear it for work, it's appropriate. Weekend wear, it's appropriate. You could also do culottes, you could do paper bag pants, anything that is in your style, but also keeping it simple when it comes to the details of the trouser. Something else I would look at is cashmere sweaters, something that is good quality and will last long. Remember with winter we are wearing the items maybe for about three months out of the whole year so i do suggest investing in your cashmere sweaters i would also do a long sleeve t-shirt so maybe something that stripes or if you want to do something different not white you could do a nude or you could do like a khaki green or olive green something that's beautiful i also like navy navy paired with gold accessories is just so beautiful Coming to coats with your capsule wardrobe, I would do a trench coat or and or a leather jacket. In my case, I actually have a suede jacket. I think it's here. Yes, it's here. So I have a suede jacket. It's this one. But I actually have a video on my Instagram, I'll also link it down below, of my whole jacket and coat collection. So check that out as well. Then it will come to, so you have your trousers or your jeans, you have your tops, you have your jackets. I would also do a beautiful shirt or a blouse. I think that'll be absolutely amazing for winter. And you can actually create outfits with all of this already. I would do a pair of boots. For me personally, I like ankle boots. You could do knee high boots. I think that's also quite cool. And a beautiful handbag. I would do something that's fun, maybe a little bit trendy, but don't, like it's in trend, but the color would be able to match. All of my outfits. Question number two, can plus size girls wear trench coats? Yes, of course. Three things to remember. One, the material. You want to go for something lightweight, so maybe something of a raincoat. Anything too heavy will make you look frumpy. Number two, think about your height. So if you are short, it will make you look frumpy when you opt for a longer trench coat. But if you're a little bit taller, a longer trench coat will be perfect. If you are short and you want to wear a longer trench coat, you need to add height, therefore heels will work perfectly. Your trench coat needs to accentuate your body and complement it. Also when opting for a trench coat, maybe go for something that's relaxed shoulders. Too structured won't look that great. Something that, once again, complements your body. Question number three, best clothing shops to find stylish clothes. This is, in my opinion, my best shops that I would go to. I know there's so many other shops, but this is where I find the items that make me feel great. And I know my size with these stores. So first of all, Zara. But remember, Zara is sometimes a bit too stylish. So you have to be very mindful when shopping. Don't just opt for trends. Find pieces that will make your wardrobe look amazing as opposed to just too trendy. H&M also has great stuff. But also, you have to be patient when looking for items. I also like Woolies, but when it comes to Woolies, Woolworths, 
I like to go to Country Road. I believe the items are very stylish. It is an investment when you're shopping at Country Road, so be mindful when you are shopping that you're adding pieces that you know for a fact you will wear it and that you want to invest in these pieces. You could do cotton on. Cotton on is but on the lower end, but also you have to know what you are buying and the size. The material maybe is not always that great, but you can make it last longer by the way you take care of your clothes. Another place I do believe has amazing and stylish clothes is Forever New. Very feminine, but also an investment. A dress could cost you between $8.99 to maybe $2,500. It all depends on what type of dress you're buying. So that is another investment. But very stylish clothes. I also believe that you can go to Cotton On and buy basics, essentials, and make it stylish. So I have a video on how to always look stylish. I'll link it up. Have a look at that so you can just take your pieces that you already have and feel stylish already. This will be the last question. Question four, best places to shop for knitwear. Now, when it comes to knitwear, you can go to many stores. You can go to high-end stores, you can go to the low-end stores, you can go to fast fashion and so forth. I think the most important thing is actually understanding the material. So wool, yes, amazing. Cotton, perfect. Once it's a blend of polyester and elastane, and, or it's just full-on polyester, this is where the issue comes in. Then your items are not going to last longer. But my favorite places, Country Road, really good stuff. H&M, also quite amazing. I have a white, I'll put a photo here, a white knit jersey from H&M, and it's lasting me quite some time. But because I only wear it three times, well, three months out of the whole year, I take good care of it. I fold it properly. I wash it with care. So also take care of your knitwear. So Country Road, H&M, Zara now and then, depending on the material. I know they're doing the more, the join life section. So you can also check there where the material is just a little bit more better in terms of the quality. So that's a great option as well. But if I had to choose from all of them, it would definitely be Country Road. It's a great investment and something that will last you a very long time. I hope you enjoyed this Ask a Stylist. If you have any questions, put in the comment section down below and I'll answer them in the next video. Stay safe, everyone. Bye.